Good evening, guys. This is Social Fire, and I'm back with another update for Dokkan Battle Global. So the new campaign drops tonight. I'm personally very excited because I love everything related to fall, and this is the late autumn awakening autumnal training campaign. So obviously we know the next Dokkan Vest unit coming up is Ultimate Gohan. It's a transforming unit, whereas Actus Field transforms them into Ultimate Gohan. Amazing unit. I know a lot of you are very excited to see him drop, but we also have a lot of stuff coming up with this as well. So starting tonight and going through October 21st, we have login bonuses. I say it every single time, guys. Make sure you are logging in every day so you can get Dragonstone's rewards and more. Plus, on your first login in, during the event period, you'll also pick up optimal training tickets, which we'll talk about a little further in the video. Also, Automal Training Special Missions will start tonight. This is a two-part series, so time-limited missions for Part 1 start tonight through October 21st. And then Part 2 missions start October 12th and will also go through October 21st. So again, make sure you're taking advantage of the missions as well. It's a great way to get um, some more Dragon Stones and lots of great rewards from that too. Again, we'll cover that toward the end of the video. Dragon Stones will also be on sale starting tonight through October 18th. Um, it doesn't specify the exact sale, so I'm guessing it's the regular stone sales. We usually get new crazy surprises there. And the Dokkan Fest banner for Ultimate Gohan will be dropping late tonight through October 21st, as well as the ticket version of that banner. Although the ticket banner is actually available through the 28th. So we have Ultimate Gohan and West Kai featured here, and they are both amazing units. I mean, I'm going to say this right now, guys, because I've had a lot of people ask if I'm going to summon for Gohan. I'm actually kind of undecided at this point because I feel like there's other stuff coming up uh, toward the end of the year that I kind of want to save up for. But at the same time, he is a great unit. So if I do summon, it's only going to be a few multis. Nothing crazy on this, but I mean, like I said, amazing unit. He can guard against all attacks, which is definitely really nice. And uh, West Supreme Kai is also a great one to pick up too. Um, great support unit for your Realm of Gods team. It gives category allies attack and defense plus 40% and a chance of performing a critical hit plus 10%. So again, also a great unit and also guards against all attacks within the same turn after receiving an attack. So personally, I'd be happy to pick up both of them. But like I said, I'm still kind of undecided there. But let me know in the comments if you're going to be summoning on that. Next, we have the Saviors Category Summon dropping tonight through October 21st. So this banner, again, you can pick up units from the Saviors category. So Ultimate Gohan is a dual lead for Saviors and Hybrid Saiyans. So you can pick up other units from the Saviors category with this. And the Late Autumn Awakening packs will be available starting late tonight through October 21st. So if you buy the pack packs, guys, can't talk tonight. <laughs> Monday starts tomorrow. I'm already like dreading it because I'm already tired, but <laughs> sorry if I'm uh, stuttering through this video, guys. Trying to make it through, probably going to bed early tonight. But anyways, late autumn awakening pack starts tonight through 21st. Um, you can pick up tickets for the tickets on the banner, get grand kais, refill statues, support items, and more. I think I stayed up too late last night playing Among Us, so if you didn't catch us stream, by the way, definitely go check it out. Also, Mysterious Ritual Summon. Use 25 Dragon Stones to get five Elder Kai's. Everybody's always a winner with that banner. It will be here through tonight until October 21st, so definitely a good chance to stock up on those. If you're like me and you picked up some new units during the five year anniversary and download celebration, I probably run in low on Kai's, so I'm probably gonna be stocking up too. Also, the new stage was added to the Dokkan event for Ultimate Gohan. So Ultimate Awakened Power is back up with that new stage, and you can Dokkan Awaken him if you are lucky enough to pull him. I wish you guys all very good luck on that. Also returning, Goku and friends are back. So Gotenks and Tarbo can Dokkan Awaken with this event. Starts tonight through October 21st. And let's take a look, I believe on the schedule here. Yeah, so we have the AGL Tarble and the Super Ingo Tanks. So you can Doke on Awaken them with this event. Also, the Stronger Than Ever Super Training of Goku's Family. You can come obtain the respective skill orbs for Goku and his sons. So you can do five attempts for each stage. Um, now this event, let's take a look. So there's a few ways it works. You have to have three specific characters on it, um, which you can get with the automal tickets we're gonna talk about a, a little later in the video. You have to have 
all three of the Kamehameha Easy A units on your team. And there are three stages and you can clear them all up to five times and it requires a key to do that. And you can pick up skill orbs. So the skill orbs that you're picking up, they have three types here. So you have a plus level four, which you can only, only for characters whose names include Goku. And then obviously there's another one for only characters whose names include Gohan, and then another skill orb for characters whose name only includes Goten. So basically an event to pick up skill orbs for Goku, Gohan, and Goten units. And then the missions are pretty simple. Clear stage once for a skill orb, clear stage twice for a skill orb, three times, four times, five times, each of those times you're picking up skill orb. And then if you clear the event 15 times, you'll get three dragon stones. So again, the missions for that event are pretty simple. And then uh, each of the stages you're going up against different bosses. You're going up against an R AGL Goten. Um, then the second stage is a Tech Gohan SSR. And then you go up against the Tech LR Goku. But yeah, basically a fun event there to pick up skill orbs for Goku and his family. Also, Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash is resetting tonight and will be going on through November 2nd, so make sure you take advantage of that as well, guys. And then Automal Training Baba Shop. So powerful characters are here. Again, that's for the Automal Training ticket. You can exchange them for those three units from the Kamehameha Easy A. And that will be available October 4th through October 28th. Also reopening the story events for the Unknown Battle of Gods and Majin to pick up Spring Kai and West Spring Kai and Videl's Flying Technique Tutorial for SSR Videl and you can Dokkan Awaken them into Teen Gohan and Videl. Also we have the Rising Dragon Carnival Banner. So that is coming back on October 12th and will be available through the 28th. It has Launch and Oceana Shenron featured and I don't know, these Double Rates banners can be pretty good so that's another reason. I'm not sure what I'm doing with my summons yet because I I don't know if I'm going to be summoning on that one or not too. I mean, double rates banners, uh, they're hard to pass up. But I mean, like I said guys, that will be back if you do decide to summon on the 12th. Explosive Chain Battle. So this is versus Legendary Super Saiyan Broly will start on the 12th and will be going through October 19th. And then we have the Extreme Z area. So this is to Extreme Z Awaken, the free-to-play Raditz, so I actually have this guy rainbowed. I remembered him a long time ago. I don't even remember why I initially did it, but his easier area will be arriving. So you can pick him up from the event Low Class Warriors Raditz Pride. If you don't already have him, that event should be returning too. So again, that will be available the 12th through the 28th. We also have Spread Love Magical Girl Fighters returning October 12th through the 28th, so you can pick up SSR Super Ribrian. And we have the EZA for Wuhan dropping October 12th through October 28th. Also story events for Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan for um, Videl Tr Kid Trunks and Kid Goten, excuse me. And we have a new threat, the Saiyan Warrior Race, and you can pick up the our Kid Gohan, SR Vegeta, and SR Nappa as well, and then you can Dokkan Awaken Nappa. He transforms into a giant ape. I mean, most of you are familiar with these. And then we have the Low Cost Warrior Raditz as Pride event. So again, if you don't already have him, you can pick him up from this event, and he is the unit for the Extreme Z area. All right, Weekend Summon Login Bonuses will be dropping on the 18th through November 8th, so make sure you're logging in for those as well, guys. Weekend summons, um, I've pulled some pretty good stuff off of that, so you definitely want to be picking up your tickets, guys. You log in from the game from Sunday to Friday to pick up weekend summon tickets. Um, weekend summon special missions as well. Be able to be starting on the 18th through November 8th. You can pick up more tickets as well from that. And then the actual summon banner will be dropping on the 18th and will be available through November 8th. So, like I said, these weekend summon banners, I mean, I pulled a few LRs. Uh, I've gotten shafted too, but I mean, definitely want to take advantage of that. It's free summons. So you could definitely pull something good with that. No, don't miss out. All right, I think that was the end of that one, so we'll take a look at the other stuff real quick. Yeah, just scrolling through just to make sure. So make sure I didn't miss anything, because like I said, I'm very tired. All right, so first login, guys, you're getting three of those automal training tickets. 
Make sure you're logging in every single day for dragon stones, training grounds, training items, um, hit potential orbs, Herco statues, you know, the usual, but free stones. Log in every day with us and you can get up to 17 dragon stones, which you can immediately spend on more summons. <laughs> and then we have special missions. Here we go. So complete all the daily missions and time limited missions to get up to 30 more dragon stones to spend on those banners. <laughs> And you can pick up uh, hidden potential orbs and more. So let's take a look. Also, you can pick up that limited key too by completing certain time limited missions. So that's for that stronger than ever super training of Goku's family event that we talked about earlier. All right, so daily missions. Clear any stage once for two of each of the different types of training Z swords. Consume at least 30 stamina for a bronze Hercule statue. And complete all the specified missions for one dragon stone. So again, very simple. Time eliminations for part one. Clear stage under special conditions for one of each of the different types of training Z-Swords. And then you do that three times for two, uh, looks like silver Hercule statues and the training key that we talked about. Do it five times for another Hercule statue and another training key. And then if you Z-Awaken three characters, you get a, another Hercule statue and another key. So you can pick up the keys here. Don't gonna awaken one character for three of each of the different types of training turtle shells. Clear any growth event once for one incredible hourglass and another key for the event. Clear any growth event three times for one of each of the high awakening medals and another key for the event. Um, clear any story event three times for three of the Beerus' training grounds and another key for the event. Clear any story event seven times for 200 each of the different types of hidden potential orbs here. Clear any Dokkan event three times for three Dozen Kai's and another key for that event. Clear any Dokkan event five times for an Elder Kai and another key. Clear any Dokkan event seven times for a Dragon Stone and another key. So you can pick up a lot of keys from that event from doing these. Um, consume at least 300 stamina for three more Dozen Kai's and another key. Lots of keys. <laughs> consume at least 500 stamina for another Dragon Stone and key. Consume at least 700 stamina for two dragon stones and a key, and then complete all the late autumn awakening part one missions for three dragon stones. Ooh, right, and skill works. Very nice. For sticker? Yeah, sticker. I can't even see. I can't be staying up this late stream. <laughs> all right, maybe take it out next time. All right, and then part two, obviously we don't have that yet. We'll have it on the 12th, so when it drops, I'll definitely let you guys know. All right, so the Automal Ticket that we were talking about, so you can get up to three Automal Training Tickets from the Login Bonuses. And you can use it to pick up these guys here. So you probably have these guys. Again, it's the Kamehameha Easy A units, but they are all great units. I mean, um, Goten here actually falls under a ton of categories. You see these guys show up with stones and stuff when we get the Red God Dragon stones. They're always an option there too, um, in different, um, items that we've had to exchange in the Baba shop. These guys usually show up a lot. So if you don't have them rainbowed, you can pick them up with these tickets. I know I need a few more copies, so I'll probably rainbow yeah, most of them. I'm trying to think. I think most of them only need one or two more copies for me. But anyways, you can pick them up with those tickets. So that's what those are for. And again, that um, event that we were talking about, the Stronger Than Ever Super Training of Goku's Family. You have to have all three of these units on your team for that event. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, lots of stuff here coming up for the autumn event. I mean, I'm always excited. Love fall. I'm very excited fall is here. It's finally starting to feel like fall. So let me know what you think of the autumn event for Dokkan Battle Global. If you plan on summoning for Ultimate Gohan or even the Double Raids Mirror, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. And I'll keep you guys updated if I do decide to summon. I mean, I'm still up in the air with that. I might summon for Frieza as well in JP. We're going to see. Um, it depends on my schedule, too. But, guys, like I said, I uh, streamed Among Us. It was a lot of fun. Again, uh, several of the guys from 59 Gaming were there. So if you missed it, go back and watch the video. And I'm sure they'll have highlights on 59 Gaming as well. Might even be doing it again this week. We'll see. Uh, like I said, it always depends on the schedule. But we're going to wrap it up here. It's already getting too long. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. I'll catch you next time.
Thanks for watching.